Good morning, fam. It's me again. This time, I want to bring to you the story of He'll Make It Right. You know, every time I called Mama, she would always have words of encouragement for me. No matter how bleak the situation was, no matter what anyone had said or done, she always had these words to say to me. What's wrong in your life, he'll make it right. And she lived by those words for at least the 47 years that I knew her. No matter how serious I was, every time she would stop and start to sing, she wasn't a great singer, but when she started singing those words, I couldn't help but laugh and sing along with her. And before I knew it, what I thought was so serious and so terrible, it seemed like just the common everyday trial or tribulation that we all go through. It wasn't until I was 25 years old that I realized that the words that she was saying, the true meaning of what's wrong in your life, he'll make it right. No matter what your situation, no matter what people say about you, it always turns out well for those who put their trust in Yahuwah. And that's a fact. It was December the 4th, 2019. That was the day we were flying out to live in Thailand. And on that day, we went to see Mama. We sat and we talked with her and we laughed. And her and I talked about old times. And I told her on that day that I was going to make a song out of what's wrong in your life, he'll make it right. And she told me that once I made the song, she wanted to hear it. So we prayed one last time together. Mama knew that I had a heavy heart. And right after she prayed, she reminded me and she said these words, you don't have to worry about me. Don't worry about me. I'm going to be okay. Yahuwah has plans for you. And he wants you to have a life, a happy life, with a family that loves you and with a wife that loves you. And she again wanted me to know that she loved me as well. As Mama walked us to the door of her home, she said, hey, send me some pictures so that I can always look at when I miss you. And I laughed and I said, okay, we will, Mama. And at that time, we departed her home, heading for the Miami International Airport. I didn't know it, but it would be the last time that I or my wife would see her alive. And we took pictures on that day. And today, I want to share with you the last photo that I had with my mom in this life. Mama, this song has been dedicated to you and your memory. Thank you for being there for me as I was coming up. And thank you for obeying what Yahuwah would have you to do.